The Tobacco Farm Life Museum in Kenley, North Carolina presents another Sharing Our Heritage video for your enjoyment. We're more than just about tobacco. We're all about life in rural North Carolina on a farmstead in the late 1880s to the early and mid 1900s. The one we used was a 35 gallon kettle. We called it a kettle pot. Yeah. It came up and had the little turned out lip at the top yeah. uh -huh. and had the bales on each side where they used to hang them uh, and you you could rotate it, mm -hmm. you know, move it back and forth like that. And uh, is it made for Baltimore Flower Company? Baltimore I Flower don't. Flower? I'm not sure who. I don't think it's Baltimore. I don't think it's Baltimore, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'll just be honest with you. I've got his pot. That pot's got a history. <laughs> Our neighbor saw that pot for you, a man. He, he he was a farmer and a barber. He he uh, he cut hair. On Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the little town of Lukama, and uh, then he farmed the rest of the time. Of course, he, he they kill hogs too. But in the, riding back and forth to Lukama, he saw this uh, old wash shed, old wash shelf for somebody's house. Uh, they were tearing down one day, and they had it torn down, and he saw this big kettle pot sitting in there, and they had bricked up around it and whatnot. So he stopped and asked the man what he was going to do with the pot, and he said, I'm not going to do anything with it. Asked him what he sell it, he said, yeah. He said, well, what will you take for it? And if memory serves me correct, he took $5 for it. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to get rid of it. I mean, that man ran the store. He was getting, he, he had no use for it. The, the wash house hadn't been used in years. Well, our neighbor kept the pot for many, many years. And then when he went, when he got disabled, we were still, and we, but we had used a pot during that time. We took our pots around each other's houses because it always took three or four. Yeah. And, uh, but anyhow, when he got disabled, he just told me to, to bring it on to the house and keep it, use it. And, and all of his family's passed away and I'm still keeping it and I'm still using it <laughs> if I need to. To experience firsthand our heritage like this and much more, plan your visit to the Tobacco Farm Life Museum today. School groups, scouts, excursion tours, church and seniors groups, and individuals will all learn from and enjoy your time here. And to find out more, please visit our website, like us on Facebook, or call us. Hope to see you all real soon.